Hello once again everyone and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3, the unraveling series, the lore series, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, uh, I am very well just dressed up, well, Lysel is, but here's my paladin as well. <laughs> I've made sure to change them clothes for all of them. There's a Starion. And why am I introducing with Lysel? Well, you see, I've been changing a few things here and there. Uh, changing the build is not yet done well before anything let me uh, tell you that uh, hopefully today I think it, uh, it will be today that we end up wrapping someone's story someone's full story so it would be a good episode so uh, I made a monk as you already know but this uh, monk uh, level 8 and a rogue level 3 it's a multi-class and this is mostly because, as you know, I wanted to follow that sort of the roleplay um, feature that we got in this series. Um, when it comes to Lacel no longer serving Blackith. And as you know, all the Orpheus um, soldiers are more like monks. That's why it's a monk now. Um, the only thing that we want to change so far is this helmet that it's a uh, uh, in the meanwhile only as you can see we have no vest no body attire we are gonna go and get that today uh, the clock of the wave the kushigo boots you know those are for monks this is the one that we got last time when we went to Avernus the gloves so catching I got the ring of exalted marrow the risky ring is really good and the sentient amulet which is the one from the monk from the ghost monk that we uh, we de did that mission a couple of episodes ago but Can't give up now. that's just what I wanted to show you and we can proceed because today is going to be an episode full of um, dialogue and things to read really and hopefully we get to wrap up uh, one of our companions story fully as you can see, I bench Shadowheart. I think uh, Shadowheart is the one companion that I have not benched throughout the whole series. So I thought it was um, it was better that we would change that. Also, Will has this dialogue from the last episode. Let's see. Gods, I spent seven years choked by Mazura's leash, and I spent seven years hoping to break free. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. I don't I know what to say. I don't. My sacrifice kept Baldur's Gate safe from Tiamat's rage. But... That doesn't mean that the leash never chafed. That I was content to lap up whatever nonsense Mizora fed me. The leash has been broken and my father left for dead. Tomorrow I celebrate my gain. But today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a mote of tranquility. The Raven Guard name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. We obtain the final two <laughs> nether stones and take back our minds and the city from the brain. So, as I told you, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it. As I told you, there might be a way to still save him. That's why we took that decision. But enough talking, let's get out. We have things to do in Baldur's Gate. Uh, I don't know why we are in the camp's clothing. I, I think it's because uh, I had to manually change it. I mean, she looks really nice, doesn't she? Uh, she doesn't have anything, so we're not gonna do that. She'll be walking around naked. Very well. Uh, there is um, a dwarf here, quite angry. 
but all right let's get going i believe it's uh where oh he is You're looking well. Would be a lot better if you'd find a way to fix this engine, Damon. I haven't stopped trying, but all roads lead to a dead end. Sorry, I didn't mean... Never mind. Glad you're all right in any case. Nice forge you've got here. Best I've had in years. Mistress of the house lets me operate from here for a fair price. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy. Good. Someone should be. Oh, okay. Certainly. He made it. Oh, look at it. He still got all the junk that I sold to him. Have you got anything that I sold to you on accident? It's got an orb, crystal ball. <laughs> Everything that, you know, all the trash I gave to him for coin. Dragon slaying. Oh, these are expensive. But are good. Uh, we do need money, actually. We do need money. So I'll see if I can sell. Uh, Carla's got some, some things to sell. This is Catherick's hammer, right? No. It's still not. Uh, it's trash, actually. Don't need to keep. To keep that. Um, also, if you guys are following this series, any of you are following this series along, as a as I, as I always say, like a guide or a, or just following me or something like that, I think it's uh, I should. Um, tell you a few things. Shout if you need anything else. One of the most important now, and this is gonna be in the future. You're gonna. I hope you're listening to this because maybe ten episodes from now, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it, and you're gonna remember that. And it's gonna be pretty funny. I obviously I don't have Shadow Heart, and Shadow Heart has all of the scrolls, right? I kept a Misty Step. Yes, all of our characters have a Misty Step, but I have one anyway. And the dimension door. Oh, I really hope that you remember this because when the time comes, it's gonna be pretty funny that we remember that. But any case, we are to look for a shop. That's why we need money. A shop of magic. Right here. This shop is operated by a guy called Lorakan, I believe. Oh, look. Look who this is. I hope you remember this guy from the first, very first episode. At the Grove. I'll bring Lorokin out here, you tin tube. You tell Lorokin I went for his god's damn night song. And now what? he has to pay up. What are you looking at? Who are you talking like that? Shit, it's you. You went looking for the night song after me. Please tell me you found it. Uh, I didn't find anything. You found the night sometimes sound. It wasn't a relic. It's a uh, pronasima. Anasima. Hells. If I'd known, I'd have asked for more gold. What? Kidnapping costs oh. more than theft. Don't forget, I'm the one who gave you that contract. I want my cut. What the fuck? She's immortal and tough. She can forget about turn, uh, turning her in for a word. Oh, so this guy's from the bad immortal, guys eh? now? Interesting. Won't be easy getting her back to the wizard. But if you don't do it, someone else will. I hope you hit her well, mate. You joke. You go and tell her she's gonna fucking crush you. Oh, this is a nice detail. 
You guys can see that, right? Because he survived. He's here in the shop, lol. I never seen him here. You. What are you doing here? Oh, he's beating up, isn't he? Drow. Oh, we haven't had one of these in a while. I know the marks of subjugation on your face. What happened? Nothing for you to worry about. His voice <laughs> catches. Mm. Something's wrong here. But never mind that. What can I do for you? Hmm. I have information about the night on the night, so oh, so we can become bad now. Uh let's see the words uh, first. I suppose that at least I can help with. This is actually what we came here for, uh, <laughs> actually. Uh so okay, let's see. Here. Vest of Soul Rejuvenation. This is the one that Laser will be worried. Whenever the warrior succeeds on a saving throw against the spell, they regain one to four hit points. And look at that. Greater Kushigo counter. Kushigo is always monk style. The warrior can use a reaction to make an unarmed strike against any attacker that misses. Armor class plus two. We're gonna get that, of course, two thousand. Almost run out of money there, you see. Um he has a few things that we would like to buy. The ring of Regeneration, this is uh, this is a good one, actually for me. And as you can see, there's this one, Charisma, plus 2, up to 22. With more Charisma, the Paladin does get more damage. So yeah, now just a lot of good stuff here. But we are short of money, so we're just going to be buying uh, those two things for now. At least we know where to go. If he had a Dimension Door... I would buy. Okay, he does have one. Okay, I already got one. Just gonna buy one. Very well. Um. Okay. Let's see. I, I don't sell the books and the notes. I know. Some of you probably it's. Um... Oh, and that thing you hear in the background, it's uh, an enchanted cat. You guys will see. Let's see what it is. Well, so we are officially once again broke. Oh, I didn't even make the cut. Okay, let's see. Right. Hope you found what you're looking <clears throat> for. Apologies. Uh, but yeah, there is a lot going on in this place. You will see. But that is not uh, where we're going to go. You see it. It's my street performer. You, the god's damn disease of the gate. What did I do now? Lady Mazora told me everything. <laughs> How you and the Blade of Frontiers slaughtered his own father. How he craves ultimate power. How he means to make oh, the city no. bow to him and him alone. First I finish you. Then I finish the Duke's traitorous son. Oh, you fuck. Books at your mind, explore it. I mean, I could do this. It's a fucking 18 now, ah, and we don't have Shadow Heart. Oh, let's hope that it's not all my luck for this episode. <laughs> Stand down. I believe you. The battle lord help me. What darkness has fallen upon us? Listen, there's something Will should know. On his way from Elturel, Ravenguard sent a messenger with word of the cult. He knew about the Absolute. I thought little of it at first, but he realized the danger before anyone else did. He understood that if the cult was successful in raising an army, Baldur's Gate would be doomed. 
And he knew that to protect the city, one trained in the ways of the great champions would have to rouse the worm living beneath. If I'm not mistaken, that would be Will. So Dragon living under the city? A bronze dragon, to be precise, sleeping beneath us. The worm goes by many names. Ansor, the waiting storm, the heart of the gate. He made Baldurin a binding promise to protect the city when its need was greatest. The city survived countless threats, but Ravenguard knew its walls would fall to the cult. With him gone and the city near ruin, your call is to unleash the heart of the gate. Ooh. Take this, the legend of Ansor. The bards call it a tall tale, but every last word is true. Follow its path to the worm, or do not, and let the coast be drowned in blood. I was right to lay down my arms. Foehammer be praised. I should go. Gather allies. We'll join you in your hour of need. Free the worm, and may his thunderous wind drive the absolute from the coast. Well, I did not expect uh, the legend of answer. Okay, we will be reading that when we get to expand on Will's story. I did not expect to start unraveling. Uh, so much for today. So much today. Anyway. The things we bought. So first of all, I don't know why I have this. But the ring we just bought, it's ours. And Lysel can finally be prepared for battle. Uh, she does look elegant, doesn't she? Absolutely lovely. Look at that. There we go. Now she's a she's a monk. Oh, it's the it's the earthquakes. So I haven't really told you whose story we are going to expand today, but probably you have an idea already. Although I'm being followed by a, by an objective, and I do not know what's going on. I read ah uh, because it, he, he wants me to read it. Don't worry, lads. Uh, we'll read it. So, there is this cemetery here. Cemetery or a garden park. Like. I do believe it's over here. Mm. It doesn't let me click. The truth be told, I don't really know how you get here. Oh, I can click. Okay. Let's see where they go. Oh, it's over there. Right. It's a watchtower. Hmm. There's a chest over there. It's like a Yankee? Just keep your hands to oh, yourself. Oh, no. You... She turned around right in the last moment. That is not fair. Oh yeah, and something I forgot to mention. These things I should give to Laysel. I didn't really explain you much the build. And I think I should do. So. She's a monk. You can see 8 strength. Basically 0 strength, no strength. 16 dex, constitution 20. Constitution is 18 plus 2 on the cape, I believe. Mm. Something gives 
her plus two. Um, wisdom 15, we are lacking on that one. If we could uh, get it going with an item or something, that would be better. But that is how it's supposed to go because it's gonna hit on constitution, it's gonna be melee, barehanded as you know. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the items I did show you, and this is the new one the Vestal Soul Rejuvenation. The rings is the Exalted Marrow and the Risky Ring. And that's about it. Kushigo Boots and the Cloak. Uh, and yeah, the the Elixirs. We, in the meanwhile, we need it because of this uh, weird uh, stats that I provided. I'm hoping it works. I know it will work. Remember, the build is not yet over. The helmet is provisionary only. We need to get a... a I know where to get it, and we're going to get it eventually. And not so far away. Uh, but yeah. There's that. And because we don't have any strength, obviously, we're going to have these things. Hopefully, we can find in traders and whatnot. Because I've only got two. However, they last until long rest. Until next uh, long rest. So we should be good. I can sneak in here. Security shouldn't be too tight. A few charmed innocents, maybe. Will gave up his father to have freedom. Hmm. An understandable decision. Sacrifices must be made after all. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> Especially if the old duke's fall means his rise. Hmm. You're projecting a little bit, aren't you? Hmm. I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. <sighs> Very well. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let me see if I can... Wants to tell. I was sired by a vampire named... Casador. Everything before that is so long ago, it's ancient history. And everything that came after, well, um, I'd rather not reflect on it. I'm not sure if we got to a uh, show in the series because we, uh, Raphael never did it, I think. But he gets to show us his markings that his uh, Astarion is going his back. Hopefully, you, you got to see it because I. I play the game so simultaneously many runs that I don't really remember what I've done in the series by now. Oh, hello. This is the palace of Kazador Zar. Entry is forbidden. Leave now, citizen. You guys do realize God's words are clear, but the song in the background is Alfira's song, right? The Whipping Dawn. Behind her eyes you see nothing. She must oh. be one of the charmed thralls, as Stalin yeah. mentioned. She's bewitched. Man, that song is gonna haunt me my entire life. Intimidation. And a flyer of this tower. Shit. Yeah, that's the that's the thing of not having shadow heart. We still have a lot of charisma she though. Pauses for a moment, but keeps her mouth shut. It seems you're free to enter. Very well. We can go. I mean, it would have been too bad to fight anyway, you know. We could have loot them, I guess. Uh, we cannot pick anything up from here. It's stealing. But, yeah, that's... If you didn't realize already... We are entering... Casado's domain. Will something happen if I steal this? Right, remember, we need to pick up junk. We're back at it. We got no money. Mm. 
Tsar Palace. That's his name, Casa do Tsar. This is a proper manner. Well, that's suspiciously welcoming. Hmm. Well, well, well. The bats and everything, you can tell. The master is pure. His palace must be pure. No stain, no smudge, no taint. Pure. Okay, so yeah, they're all slaves. Look at the paintings though. They are amazing. Can I steal one of them? Oh, remember lads, the paintings are about 40 to 50, sometimes more, of gold. Oh, can I pick this one up? Well, this slowly stopped to uh, stop being a lore series, more a stealing series. Sinister door. The door is covered in intricate text. Can't see anywhere a key might fit. And rats, Only it's called rats. Round hollow engraved with a family crest. Ooh, we don't have anything in this. Let's try and get them. Right. History. Oh, now you need a 20. We're not doing this. The writing means nothing to you. You can't even recognize the script. There's writing like this all over the palace. Some old, probably dead language of Cazador's. We were strictly forbidden from learning it. Hmm, interesting. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, game. The indentation is small and features an engraving of the family crest. Beyond that, it's a perfectly normal, mysterious door. Don't worry about that door, lads. In this series, we show you the way. Remember that. And there is a way. But before that, we will inspect everything here. Okay, that one's locked. We can roll. Some novel. Uh, look at that. More clothing for our companions. Mysterious elixir. Hmm. Right. Godi. It's a curtain, isn't it? Doesn't seem to be anything behind it. Where there is something behind is in this one. Illusory wall. Now, attention to the movie here, lads. Okay? This is pretty... Uh, in my opinion, it's funny. Might be a little bit uh, sadistic. Chamberlain's private room key. And my darling Dufay, or whatever it's pronounced. My darling Dufay, despite all your promises that when we went to the afterlife we got together, you went without me. Or did you? I found your body and the empty bottle. I know you took a potion, but uh, was it poison or something else? Here are two more identical bottles. I'm going to drink one of them, and then I'll join you. One way or another. I love you for eternity. Luriana. Well. Whatever killed this werewolf burned it up from the inside. Right. His throat and innards are more liquid than solid. Right. So, uh, we cannot go here. If not over, then through. So, why is this important? Well, it isn't. Uh, but what's going on here? It's some sort of uh, Romeo and Juliet uh, plus Twilight sort of thing. Because it's like a vampire and a werewolf. Obviously, they are in, uh, at war all the time. Uh, let's see here. 
well, this is just a description of um, exotic behavior. Indeed. Dufay's Diary. I diary of Antoine Dufay. I hope that's how it's pronounced. Chamberlain of Castle's Palace. The final page of the diary reads, I know enough about what the master has in mind with his ritual that I refuse to be the stand-in for that missing brat Astarion. Even if Castle finds my body, the potion Bone Cloak sold me if uh, it's promised to provide a convincing illusion of death. Especially since I leave behind a lookalike potion of acid poison. Uh, my warm regret is dear, dear Luriana, but I simply cannot trust her with the secret of my one chance of escape. When the potion wears off, Casador uh, will have ascended and will have need of my services, or he will be no more and mastery of the palace will fall to me. So that was his plan. <laughs> And if we open this wardrobe, uh, we find clothing. Ah, well, that's odd. Supposedly, what would have happened? I don't know what happened. Oh, maybe it's here. Ah, oh, there it is. This is the guy. I don't know why I thought it was a wardrobe. There it is. Well, he has nothing. But yeah, that's the thing. And the werewolf girlfriend he had... Uh, thought... He was dead. <laughs> and committed a Romeo and Juliet. Basically. Some useless lore that you didn't need to know. You probably don't care. Only I care. But, you know, I make my own fun. Oh. Uh, the guest room is, uh. What would you say? Guess room it's Behold, one of Casador's cheapest tricks. An illusionary wall. Oh. Behind it is Ken. Yes, I guess Casador would have called him. Goddy. We read about him in the letters. I know you're there, Goddy. Stop skulking and show yourself. You always were sharp, little one. Sharp enough to cut yourself. It's taking everything I have not to grind your rotten carcass to dust. Don't be mad at Cody, child. I only did my job. Only kept you in line. You tortured us. Oh. For days at a time. Oh, yes. And you sang so sweetly for me. None of the others screamed like you did. But you're home now, and you brought me a treat, eh? <laughs> a new friend. He tortured them. Yeah, because this is where he lived, and that guy. Oh, I was gonna do this one, but playing the role could be useful. Castle hired me to capture Stion, I'm here to deliver. I wonder if he's gonna get mad. He's gonna disapprove. Oof. Damn, the, the throws are high. Too late to see the master. The doors are sealed. He will not be disturbed. He's starting the doors ritual? Doors can be unsealed. Do you have the key? Perhaps. But the master ordered the doors closed until he was finished. Godi will not open them for anyone, much less for you. You bastard. 
Castle gave me orders too. I said I need to be returned no matter what. Intimidation, how about I start breaking bones and keep going until I find the key? Okay, so that is uh, it's the same. God. We don't have Shadow Heart, we don't have Inspiration. And we cannot mess this up. Very well. Wait! Cody has the key. Cody can give it to you. Here. Here it is. Take it and trouble Cody no more. Let the master know I found a star. <laughs> I found this. Oh well. A dead man. Afraid of death. How quaint. Dormitory wing. Oh, okay. More room around here. Can I take some of these paintings, please? That's some nice gold. Spawn dormitory. dormitory. This is where the spawn were kept. When we were getting neither the carrot nor the stick. Blood donors. Hmm. We, we are going to be needing a lot of potions, that's true. I didn't buy any. We don't have a healer. Violet's diary. The garlic in Joseph's bed gave him a nasty rash. Serves him right for being such a whining runt. Now, if only I could get a, that snob Leon and his brother of a daughter. But she's protected. Casador must have fine plans for little Victoria. I wonder what it is. Well, I wonder too. In this wardrobe, there's a lot of clothing. And I just bought clothing. So that's a bit... That's a bit XD, if you know what I mean. Yeah, see? I mean, we are a lot of people in the camp right now. So there's no really... So yeah, this is where the spawn slipped and bathed. What is that? Magical seal. Right. And this is the most posh, uh, yeah, posh place for the more favored spawn. Dion's diary. Hmm. Ever since Master turned me and forced me to bring Victoria along with, uh, into the palace, I've had to be his best hunter just so I could stay in here with my daughter and keep her say, uh, away from the other spawn. I don't like the way Violet looks at her. Not at all. When I ask the Master what he plans to do with Victoria, Casaro just gives me that wicked smile. Next time I get out of a hunt, I must talk to Figaro to finalize the deal for Victoria's escape disguise if only there's enough time before this ritual. The master talks about. Mm. Very interesting. Okay. All right. This one I already opened, right? Now. I must be busy. Busy, busy, busy. Master might see me. Master might approve. Uh, I mean, I can understand that. Whenever I will, I will work. I will just pretend to be busy whenever someone showed up. I'm so tired. No illusory wall. Now I explain you the the thing here. I'm gonna detach myself. So right. There's necrotic magic at work here. Necrotic magic here. And here we find... Oh, I cannot even show it. Well, that one laying down there, it's Victoria. The one we've been reading about. So... Mm, my bad, guys. Let me... Yeah, okay. Let's change the aid for... 
Remove curse. Now. Ah, uh, no, no, Fumen. Yeah, so I had to just or just take some of that damage. Spot of healing will help. Right. So Victoria. Victoria's note. Never once slept in. Victoria, remember to read that ancient language book. You'll need to know some of the vocabulary to be able to move freely within the palace. Father. So that vocabulary that precisely. Um the language required to open the door the very beginning. Jade Arcane Elixir Helmet of Grit mm. Oh, so it's a, it's a red tearstone kind of helmet So if we have 50% of our HP or less We get an additional bonus action The saving throws plus one So you know what? Since we are in need oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. Of a better one we might as well use that. It's not a bad idea considering that we have no healer. So at some point in the fights, well, the that's going to happen. More clothing for our companions. I don't even know why I care now, suddenly. Because a current dictionary. The book is a dictionary of the ancient Kosa current language from the distant land of Kara Tur. Flipping through the pages, you find certain words and phrases underlined. Open, enter, beware, forbidden, seal. I've seen this language before. Inscribed on the Tsar's signet ring, I think. In the ring. Very well then. Let's get to it then. Hmm, that's not it. The bats and everything around. Surely is the manner of a vampire. Wait, hold on a second. Yep, I got a bit lost. Surely we gotta go up. are all the slaves right so now we know the words what does this bus do the inscription on this bus reads Mordok Salamir one of Casador's ancestors perhaps hmm interesting did I so talk to you to so much Another guest for the master's celebration. I'm afraid you're too late. You'll have to... Master Astaria. What are you doing here? Why aren't you downstairs? Well, obviously I'm on my way down now. <laughs> so if you could just point us in the right direction. <laughs> but you're too late. The, the, the doors have been sealed. The ritual is about to begin. Um... <laughs> So unseal the doors and let us in. It's too late. Godi has sealed the doors and will not open them until the ritual is complete. Casador gave the key to Godi. And where is this sadistic old sack of bones? It does not matter. We do have it's it already. Late. The master will be so angry that you missed the ritual. He will do such terrible terrible things to you i do not have any more time to waste there is too much to do too much to prepare to prepare what you said we're already late what a weird guy very well we can hear people in there sealed, with naught to see but strange writing and a small hollow 
Looking closer, you recognize the writing. It's the same Kozakuran script from the dictionary you found. Right. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door swings open. Oh, werewolves, I think. You can't be here. No one in, no one out. You're new. Cazador never kept guard dogs before. <sighs> The runaway spawn. <laughs> you reek of the master scent. Come with us. Huh? Come to master. Uh, excuse me. I will not be ordered <laughs> around my own house by some blowing mutt. <laughs> we bring you to him. We get his favor. Oh, well. Oh, lots of rats. Hmm. Step quick. Let's see. So, how are we to manage the fights nowadays with the build and the things we got? I think we look for the for the groups. That are closer to each other, and those we are going to leave to Carlac. This is gonna feel good to be one of you, soldier. Hmm. For example, here I would like them to be closer to each other. Although these two are kind of close, but the path is interrupted. I think. Hopefully, he, uh, they get some of the damage. There you are. Yeah, it's pretty wide. I didn't, I didn't think of it too wide. Oh, <laughs> I broke the candle. Uh, that, that thing. Hey, well. I want to keep Carl again myself uh, up front because Laysel doesn't really have much of armor. Although she's a melee. She does have 113, uh, 20 on constitution. Just looking for a Starion. Very well, let's see now. We've got the normal attacks. Oh, that guy showed up. Oh. Normal attacks, open hand monk, by the way, I don't know if I didn't mention it, silent hand, that is the mage hand. We do have the goalish touch, and if we were in the, yeah, below the 50 HP, we will have like 4 or 5 attacks each turn, just so you know how it works. There you go. The key. Ah, uh, you mother. Uh, I'm gonna make her come here. I wonder if this is worth the cost. Mm, no point really on using our spells just yet. Okay, all those things getting together. We're gonna get some damage on ourselves, but it's gonna be good for Karlak's attacks. You found your voice. You puny. Right. 
so with a starion I'm gonna use the first one on this guy and yeah let's finish this one I do not have the ensnaring yet so there's that my turn Carlac, although it's melee now, I'm gonna use this one so it affects everyone. See all the rats and bats. There we are. Mm. They hit her a lot. Now you. The open hand attack. Now. She still does have another one. Taste my fury. And if we were to have and that this one is a heal. We were to have Less than 50% of the HP, we will have another attack. I won't give in. Oh, and the rats are left. I always forget the rats. Right. Look at all of this. Party guest. Let's see. He got absolute nothing. Well, yeah, nobody's gonna have nothing, really. Dagger. We loot that guy already. The party guest, I'm assuming it's a sacrifice. I've been invited to play at a party at the Tsar Palace tonight in their ballroom. Show the Chamberlain at the door this note and he'll let you in to join me. With your best dress. Oh well, you were... Brought here by someone else. There's a button here. Oh yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. I know what this is about. So... Uh, if you can see over here, there is the this door that cannot be opened. No well, basically, the there's the button and the door is open, but the one here is closed. I'm gonna take an advantage and heal Karlak. But this one's open. More people. That was uh, full into coming to this party. Another button. Counting house safe number one key. So the counting house is the um, the bank of all those gates, and the key is the number one. I imagine because uh, probably it's uh, Castler is the oldest person in Baldur's Gate. Quite possibly. Very well. I do not know what this button do. Oh well, it click. Uh, it closes. Right. So that's it uh, in that area. Pull yourself together. Oh. coming yeah I'll try to make it quick in this area because there's a lot to see right just like these paintings that we're taking so more buttons and more places Darsak, uh, 100, uh, 1,477. Right. 
No, so those are more uh, funny little things. Not really quite important. I'll know when it's something important. So don't worry, we'll look through it. I do believe it's kind of unsettling that... Oh, there's a... Button here. That we don't have music in this area. You know what I mean? Okay, garlic. Huh. We can keep going up. Let me check that there's nothing here. Ring. Trousers. The button too close. We are going towards Casador Lats. That is a bit unnerving. But there's not much here, only the chest. Ouch. All right. Okay, what does this do? Right, so it just closes it. So let's get out. Uh, that one opens it. You don't remember this much. Oh, all right. Careful. <laughs> that is, uh, this is a, uh, I think to like sort out of a trap. The door opens and eventually it closes. Oh, treasure. 200 diamond gold ruby. Key to Castle's dungeon. Very nice. Nothing else, it seems. Uh, let's, could you open pretty please? Oh, there's this button. So it's not a trap anyway. I've got a long road ahead. We do. But I think that's it. Let's get out. Yeah, there wasn't nothing that way. What we do have is the key. And the key is precisely for a third door that it's here. And the key was not for this, actually. Ooh, okay, we can go down there. Let's check here first. Party planner, silver glass. You cannot go back here. However, this uh, about the party planner is just basically the party planner um, whinging and complaining that he cannot do what he's asked. But yeah, that's it for this area. I don't know what's a daze, dice. Where are we going? Stand on a clean metal platform. A beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age. Signs of things dragged onto it over the years. Mm. It seems to be in good working order. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Casador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. All right. Yeah, let's go. So not even Astarion knows about this. 
By the way, the clown paint, uh, it's gone. I didn't really want it to be gone. Right. Wow, we got a waypoint. What in the hells? I never knew any of this was here. Hmm. Well, what do you know? Very well. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Am I might. Right. So before we continue, let's have a look over there. That seems interesting. I am the only one who can fly, so I'm going alone. How cool is that? Ooh. Hey, I feel I feel another perception. What the hell? Ah, well, there it is. <laughs> Wait, I cannot open it. Oh, what is that? No, oh, and the and the thing I can still not open. Ah. Hello, sun blade. And that pain. Hmm. Bumper enchantment plus one finesse. Radiance. Ah, well. That could even be good for a rogue, for a starion or something. Some backstory, not really important, so I'm not re not reading it. Oh, well, there is a lot of stuff down here. I never came here. Or at least I don't think I did. Many scrolls. Oof. The water is dirty. Yeah, no, a lot of things, a lot of things. So, okay, that's the button to go up, I, I presume. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. I know where we are, and we cannot go. Because from here, we go to... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to tell you, because other, otherwise you're not going to know. Because we cannot do it right now. From here, you go to Baldur's Gate... A uh, sewer, and there is something going there. So, wait for me. Let's go. We don't want to go there just yet. Trust me, I know how I'm writing the story. It will all make sense eventually. Everything makes sense, yes or no. You you watch. Uh, you have watched how the things have been unraveling. Mermaid whiskey. Ah. Wait. Where am I? I already came up, didn't I? Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole. It does have an indentation for a signet ring. What's that noise? The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Mm. Pretty well. Oh, so this is the the hole in which we are, right? Yeah. Come on, lads. Come on, gals. Well, no, we got started now. Right. We got this one and that one. 
Let's go uh, uh, let's go see what's in here first. The gargoyles are pretty nice. Hmm. Interesting nonetheless. Meditation on a va uh, of a vampire lord. Uh, it's a Casador's journal. A stallion fate to return from his hunt this night. Godi informed he will have to play, uh, have the players ready when the boy shows himself again. Oof. Still missing. I ought not to be surprised. The boy has always been troublesome. Uh, but to disappear now when we are all but ready? Right, so he's just whinging about uh, the fact that a stallion was gone. Valeria and Petra's return from... Oh, that, that's what we saw the other day. Return from today's hunt, rushing to report that they had seen uh, has seen him in Worms Crossing. Their tale was fanciful, but they believe it to be true. A stallion standing in the sun's light, willing, uh, willing able to disobey me, inconceivable. It seems he has become more than troublesome. He is now a liability, but he will be brought to a uh, heel. Uh, he will come home, take his place with the others, and complete his purpose. Well, here we are. A scroll of names. Thousands of them. Many of the surnames could be familiar to Baldorian, though some of those near the beginning of the list are of families now long disappeared. This is a list of names of people dating back centuries, but continuing right up to the present day. She recorded thousands of names. Were they his victims or something else entirely? Mm, I don't know. That is interesting nonetheless. Eternal cruelty. What is this? On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. Mm -hmm. uh, the skull's memories rise and unfold. Let them wash over you. This skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift, and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Oh yeah, these are uh, wisdom and history, I believe. So we'll get, we'll get you all of those. Don't worry. Wisdom, concentrate on the memory. Uh, what is Velio's first lesson? Oh, nice. Valioth's first lesson is always to dominate. Allow none to be your equal. Valioth recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Valioth drained his friend dry. Oof. Very well. Concentrate on the memory. What is Velio's second lesson? Okay, let's see. Another one? Velio's second lesson is that power comes from solitude. To share with others is to be weak. And to be weak is to fail and die. Velio recalls when Casador rebelled against him. Casador suffered 11 years of impalement Whoa. because he failed. Damn. If that ain't something. Concentrate on the memory. Okay. Third lesson. Let's see. Well, it's been about seven reloads, so we're not going to continue it. The shock of impalement allow your focus to waver, and Valioth's words drift away, lost in the mists of time. Valioth recalls Casador, his lessons learned, killing him in the rite of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Valioth huh. recalls Casador boiling the flesh from his skull. 
and then to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Casador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. Oh well. Even Nonetheless. Right, so this is the process to ascension. Very well. Eyewitness accounts of the ball spawn, uh, spawn crisis. What are you on about? I don't remember this. The kill seal on the inside of the cover belongs to a printmaking collective in Baldur's Gate. Of course, I remember knew uh, the second that girl was walking that she'd be trouble. Little thief, always in everyone's business, and that worth of Gorion went right along with her. No surprise, the wicked god's blood was running in their veins. Anonymous Candlekeep, Saravok, and his lot are always the first ones to come to mind. You know, this all started with a bit of iron in Nashkel. Everyone thought the weapon would uh, rot out of their hands back then. I thought the problem was a bad trade. Never uh, took the man for a son of Baal. Amnian, mercenary inter interview on his deathbed. You dare speak that name to me? My mistress was turned to ash fighting those forsaken wretches. I, I cursed Baal. I cursed Irenicus. Irene Irene oh my god. I curse you, hostile vampire at Katla slums. Wow, okay. Mm. Right. So this is through the ages then. I thought it was something to do with me, maybe. Got something going here? Ah, it's outside. Never mind. We were here already. Locked. We have the key, don't we? Like the door the, to the ring upstairs. This door features no keyhole. It does have an indentation for a signet ring. The noise though, what's that noise? The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Righty oh. Oh, so there's people here. These are Approaching the cells, oh. you're met with hollow eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. These poor people. Is this how you used to live? You know these prisoners, Starion? I don't even know what this prison is. He hid all of this from me. And the others. If I had to guess, I'd say they're part of his ritual. But where in the hells do they come from? You. I know you. Oh. You were the woman from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. No. You... You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. Damn. Just starting stories, really, if I can go. Not gonna lie. 
So these are all the people he brought here. It can't be. Oh, well, he and the others, of course. Beneath the dirt and blood, you notice that every prisoner has a rune carved into their flesh. Right. And the scars are the same as Astarion going his back, basically. Uh... So Casador marked them too? Bound us all to his ritual. Gods. I know so many of these faces. They're my conquests. I pursued them, seduced them, and brought them to Casador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one, so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? Oh. How long have I been down here? One hundred and seventy years. Jesus. You were one of my first. My family. My friends. <laughs> They're gone. You took them from me. You took everything from me. Two hundred years, dude. Oh. Ah, oh, this throws, man. Free. We'll never be free while that monster lives. That's why we're here. To destroy Casador. <laughs> you can't. It's not possible. Where is he now? The Grand Chamber. Just ahead. But even if you can kill him, what then? Mm, that is true. What happens to us? Mm. We'll set you free. Free from this nightmare. It doesn't feel possible. I promise you, I know that feeling all too well. But it can be done. Whatever you do, just do it quickly. I can't go and wait. We'll be back. You have my word. Hmm, lads. That is hard as fuck, isn't it? And you thought that was bad. Oh, hold on. God's above. He kept Sebastian. I feel ill. All the fools and villains who ever fell for my ploys, they're, they're here. Yeah, I had 200 years of collecting souls, basically. But why, why does he need them alive? What possible use could they have in this ruined state? Hmm. All the blood he demanded. I thought he was gorging himself on... He never could have finished half of it. He never let us drink. He never wanted us to know. I had no idea there was worse than drainage and death in his hand. I couldn't imagine. We must find Casador. This must end. Right. Oof, and uh, as I was saying, if you think that if you think that was bad, <laughs> prepare yourself for this one. Hey, hey, you, come closer. Oh God, it can't be. It is you. 
I knew it. I'll kill you. Once I get out of here, I'll kill you. So this is uh, the kit from the Girls Guild. If you don't remember, in one of the last episodes, the girls are uh, like the Witchers from the Witcher uh, Three. Uh, beast hunters yeah the monster hunters camp Ca camp monster hunters uh, the girl camp oh, the God. girl camp right my parents camp uh, Chessa focus resist the beast in inside you uh, you promised uh, it's your fault. You did this to us. Didn't he tell you? He's the one that kidnapped us. He's the reason we're spawns. Uh, I'll kill you. Uh, <laughs> yes. Now that you um, <laughs> mention it, uh, I may have done that. No. <laughs> don't look at me like that. Casador's orders. <laughs> Quite the deviation from my usual routine, of course. Uh, capture, not lure. Uh, I didn't bring them in with sweet rolls or anything. I really forgot about them. Felt nothing the moment I handed them over to him. Oh. Hmm. Did you see that? Oh, I saw well delivered, man. He gets. He, he just. Had to th uh, think back on it. Because he basically wasn't feeling anything. Yeah, we promised. Parents? You've seen my parents? I miss them. I, I think. Or perhaps it's the hunger. Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to tell. You should go. Damn. Leave us here. We shouldn't be out there. We'd hurt our families. Uh. Never give up hope, lads. We know what we're talking Blind about. That's right. Starvation and fear. Recognition stirs in her eyes. And with it, hope. You... You really mean it? Uh, uh, Casador's got this stuff. It controls the doors. If you get it, you can set everyone free. If you get it, somehow. Good luck. If you fail, well, I suppose we'll be seeing you again in here. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, hope, lads. Never give up hope. We free her from from the hells, remember? And well, as you know, he's up ahead. Oh, so get ready, lads. Probably we should do one of this. Oh, there he is. stands before us is this truly our prodigal son hmm? stack casador do not sludge before me boy have you no respect for yourself look at you. are you bowing crawling back after abandoning your family you should be begging our forgiveness forgiveness you've never forgiven anything every mistake Every slip was punished. I strove for perfection in all things, even those as imperfect as you. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No. No. Fuck you. <laughs> and fuck everything you've ever done to me. Very well. I forgot to make the save for this part. Well, do we want to l let him continue or do we want to say? 
Ya. They told me you had changed. I dared not believe it. Oh, thankless child. Did I not bless you with our immortal gift? Did I not make you what you are? You son of a bitch. No. You truly forgot my power. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? Hmm? Oh, you are weak, my child. You are a small, pathetic little boy who never amounted to anything. <laughs> But today, you will finally do something worthwhile. You will burn, and I will ascend. Right. No! Stop him! Get me out of this! So as you can see, let's... Witness the birth of the Vampire Ascendant! That's the thing with this fight. Dominus! We immediately lose a star, and so we are only three. However, I never figured it out uh, back then. But a few things to mention before I make my move. Also, Karl, like it's already hurt. Okay, so things that I didn't figure out that I think work that way. As you can see, Casador became this uh, this thing. Apparently, he's weaker when he's like that. However, you can see these are all the people he's, he had. This Leon, we've read about him. That's Aurelia. You can see Titi out. Nice. <laughs> well, everyone, basically. Astarion is right here. And when you step on one of these, uh, the energy, that light, just stops flowing. So I was trying to position myself uh, back then when I was when I did this. I did this fight entirely different. I basically kill everyone, uh, but we're not gonna do that, obviously. Uh, and I think I figured it out because you can see there is three uh, lines of the, uh, scripture here. And when the last one is done, and it's his turn, he gets the buff and, well, game over, probably. So, I think the, the deal here is to step here, where Astarion is, and then to the sides, here and here. So, first of all, i uh, see if I can make it... I can make it with Kalak here, although she's gonna be surrounded by enemies. Yeah, you can see uh, this thing is stopped. Obviously, we don't want to be here. We want to be there. But we don't have anything else. Although we could do the misty step only, or the dash even. The, the dash, yeah, here. I really need to heal her though, because I don't really have anything else. Let's do the... I use all my actions, probably I cannot drink. I do. Right. Gonna have to pass the turn. I am fury. I am death. Gonna have to do the same thing with Lysel. I think I'm gonna abuse the Misty Step right away. That, that would have been the right move. And I can still hit this guy. Oh, there he goes. Right. And I'm gonna be going all the way over here. And quite frankly, I don't even know if that works. I think I'm making it up a little bit. Right. Same thing. Uh, we're gonna abuse right away our misty step. I cannot make it that far, but I can make it 
here. Down here. And until they come and get to me. Okay. So... I don't know if it worked. It looks like it's containing. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, until they come and get me, I will have to use the bow. Which it won't make much damage. That's fine. They have to come to me. Uh, I made a mistake there. The Divine Sense is not for the... For this kind of creature. Come to me. No. That's right. No, okay, that's not good. Our ritual is near complete. Can you feel its profane power? It's it complete though? Well, it's the second thingy, yeah. I might have been wrong then. Maybe that's not what it has stopped it. Oof, I need to use another one again. Jesus. That gives me only one attack, I think. Whatever I do provokes an attack, an enemy attack. Right. Not doing so bad. Hmm. Probably someone should start attacking. Oh, it was a bat? Okay. But supposedly, the way I did it, it should work. I'm not entirely sure though. Yeah. Oh, like it's really getting... Oh my god. Again. Okay, so he's gonna buff. No, 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 no. I still... Not yet. Oh yeah, I think it does. Shit. Okay, the... The energy thing, the soul energy thing, it's not... Uh, continuing. So we might be alright. As long as we can kill the guy. Only two of us. I would really like an execution right now. Never mind then. They still hitting her? Fuck. This is looking bleak. Centuries of toil, all building to 
So, okay, he's gonna use the buff, and probably with that because uh, there's only one, there's only me standing. But nonetheless, it's good that you get to see that. When that happens, everyone dies. Basically, including Astarion. Look at that. That's Astarion. I might try something different this time. Well played, but I still have the flesh from the old Alright. Does it make any damage to him? Soldier, I need your help. Oh, for a moment I thought I I made him fall. Mm, that's not nice. It's, I'm on my own. No. Oh. Okay, so he's dead. I think. I don't see him anywhere. So we are now only dealing with the foes. Oh well, I got a I got a present for you lads. Hmm. Do I have anything else that it's uh No. Don't worry, when we get the helmet that we need, she's gonna hit real hard. Ah, yeah, more attacks because we, we have uh, less than 50 HP. We got this. The air is slow because of the black hole. The one that really is pissing me off is the skeleton because he sleeps. Uh, he sleeps people. There you are. Now that I think about it, if Lysel wasn't there, I could use the Repulsor. Oh, we got a Starion! Yeah. Right, we got a Starion back. Nice. Uh, fuck the bats. She can handle that. Don't worry, lads. Ooh. Two in a row. Okay. That's some bullshit, though.
I still got lots of HP though. Good armor. Play so is dead. Ah, so many minions. Oh, it paralyzed me, really? Jesus, very well. This has become silly. Right. You fucking idiot. Now you. Holy 
Holy shit. Everyone is dead. Very well. Get up, Ostarion. We need to revive them. Right. Take you before my time. Okay, I got it. I got her. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any more scrolls. Indolence breeds madness. What? Right. Still in control. We're good to go, lads. We're good to go. My injuries need tending. Hmm. Okay. Before anything, let let me give them some some potion at least. So that way they they are not on one HP because it's silly. <laughs> oh, in the cinematic with the with other shirt. Oh, vengeance now. me speak the words and ascend in my place hm? the runes i carved into your flesh bind you and all seven thousand souls to the seven ritual thousand. complete it and those bearing the scars will be sacrificed you included you are simply a means to an end i made you to be Consumed. I am so much more than what you made me. Get over here. We can do this. He wants to get on with the ritual. You kill all these people, all right? What you need? Uh... Right. So here's the thing, and I'm gonna tell you this: if you are the bad guy of your playthrough, you get a lot of rewards. But that's usually the case with everything. I mean, if you do a bad playthrough, bad guy playthrough. Uh, if you do this, you help him do this, you get like sick rewards. I don't know what you get if you don't do it, but obviously we, um, I am a paladin. We are not gonna do this. Uh, although a paladin probably would kill them all because they are spawns. Uh, but yeah, no, the right thing to do, uh, the right thing to do, right? The the decision. You can't finish the ritual. You kill these people. If we release them, how many people will they kill? Tens of thousands. Mm, that that Hundreds is a good point as well, actually. But if I complete the ritual, think of the power I'll have. With me by your side, we can we can save the city. We can save ourselves. But the thing is. 
well, there is one reason why we did the fight. It's to do the right thing. Otherwise, we would have done it very differently. Last critical. You... You're right. I can be better than them. But I'm not above enjoying this. Yeah. Vengeance. Oh, damn. Shit. Is it over? Is he... <sighs> uh, I can only applaud yes. that. That was... that was really good. He's gone. What does that mean for us? The acting and everything. Oh my god. Ah, uh, let him say. Let, let him keep going. It means you have a choice. You can hide here, living in the shadows like parasites. Or you can be more than what he made us to be. You can choose differently, of course. But the consequences are on your head. And what does it mean for them? Now, that's a better question. 7,000 spawn from ancient conquests to stolen children. Casador's staff controlled everything during the ritual. Ah, oh, there it is. If it controls the cells too. You could decide their fate. They're too dangerous. They need to die. Let's release them. They deserve the same chance you caught. Why not just leave them? They're not our responsibility. No, yeah. Paladin would say that. A herd of vampire spawn unleashed on the Sword Coast. What could go wrong? <laughs> the poor wretches in the cells are innocent. They shouldn't have to suffer just because I... lured them here. someone to lead them take the tunnels into the underdark find somewhere well not safe but less perilous what no we can't just try to keep them out of trouble there they go dangling them teeth I think we're done here. Let's go. Well, that was a lot. Whoa. Uh, okay, let's see. You see, this is not not bad, but it's also not very good when you when you are a bad guy and you take the all the decisions you get. Uh, a lot of uh, recompensation, if you know what I mean. You get sick items. Nonetheless, what do you got to say? That's it. He's gone. 
gone. That's right. After all these years, these centuries, it's really over. I'm proud of you a lot. I'm glad you think well so. Done. Because I'm not so sure. I just feel numb. What I've lost. <laughs> what I've gained. It's all so much. And God. All those spawn. Free in the underdark. With a drow. Some time, I think I just to let it all sink in. Yeah. <laughs> let, let, let's just go. This place reeks of death, and I want to feel alive again. Let's get out, lad. Rhapsody. You see, these items are not exaggerated good. When you do the uh, some uh, the d different choices. It's a completely different story, but that's also how it is in real life, right? That's good and evil. You're doing the good thing, supposedly. You shouldn't be expecting a reward. Yeah, it's been a while. And I believe that would wrap up what it is. The unraveling of the storyline of Astarion. These are the girls. What are you doing here? You killed one vampire, but released 7,000 of his spawn. Have you lost all sense? They were innocents. To kill them would have been an even greater crime. Uh, but if you do decide to go hunting them, know they include your yeah, children. Yeah, that's true. That's they... true. Oh, they survived. Well, that depends on how you define survived, really. But they are free. They're making their way into the Underdark as we speak. This is... difficult news. We will need to decide what it means. Thank you for what you have done. Slaying Cazador was a great justice. As for the rest, well, time will tell. Right. Just want to check that they don't say anything else. I pray else. the spawn will stay in the Underdark. We will show no mercy if they return here. Oh, okay. Well, even if it's your children. Hold on. Hold on. It's a lot. The Pale Elf. Uh, we kill Casador and release all of the vampire spawns into the Underdark. Castarion's fate is sealed. He will be a vampire spawn till the end of his days. Ah, oh, well. We chose to do good, lads. And that is how the unraveling of Castarion's storyline comes to an end. Let's go here. Noises of the city. And just like that, this episode has come to an end. I hope you enjoyed. There will be more to come, remember. We still, this is only one piece of the puzzle that we finally managed to finish. It's been, it's been really good. I've been, i really been enjoying making this series. And I hope to see you in the next one. Be good. <laughs>